Hi crafters, this is Amy. Did another project here with the um, Cricut Nursery Rhymes cartridge. And what I did was I decorated, or more camouflaged, decorated the uh, dog biscuit container. So we have a big dog. And this is the container we keep her bones in. Page 39 of the cartridge is this little boy or child I guess giving the bone to the dog and then the give a dog a bone which I put on top I took I believe this is a, a paper grocery bag that I cut out the background papers this might not be this might be a regular craft paper but on the sides this paper and here I did all the way around and covered all the labels you know of the uh, milk bone because um, that's what this is it is actually a milk bone container that came with a big box of them at one point and so then I cut out the little boy and the dog I cut the boy and the dog out at four and a half inches and I cut out the basic shape and then I cut the basic or the base shadow blackout and then I just used some vintage ink um, what is it vintage photo and this is peeled paint I think that's all I used on there and I did that on all the sides I just colored a little bit then on the top I cut out the phrase that's also at four and a half inches. Give a dog a bone. There. Okay, so I did the dots in white and the stitching around the bone. Then uh, that was all I did. I well, I sprayed just a clear coat on it, <clears throat> and I did this like six months ago or more, and it really it kind of started getting dusty and peeling off. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put some layers of Mod Podge on it. Um, I have one layer on there. You can probably kind of see here where it's not quite dry. Um, and I just did this top part, but I did the entire bottom. I did all the papers on the sides. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead now and uh, put another coat on uh, at least these the cutout pieces. I don't know if I'll do all the sides again. But I'm going to put a couple of layers on this and just kind of build that up. So now where it sits in my porch, because <clears throat> it sits out, it isn't in a cabinet. So now when it sits, it's out, at least it isn't just oh milk bones, because it was just the milk bone labels on that. Okay, so I'll finish up putting another coat on. Uh, you can always use the heat tool to dry it in between. I did that before to kind of help dry the blocks. But be careful though with the paper. Or you can just let it dry overnight. Um, I did a partial dry with the heat tool before and then uh, let it air dry for a couple of hours and for the most part it's dry so okay okay I'll just rinse out my brush and set that aside let it dry and then uh, let that dry and I think I might put another layer on there yet too just, just to protect it, it's on the porch and we put our boots and our coats and of course the dog is out there. And so, there, that was pretty cute. Thanks for watching, have a good day.